Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I am unboxing the new Blue Gecko Charm from Pandora's summer release. I am super excited to put this one on my summer garden bracelet that I have been reworking. Y'all will see that video soon. But when this gecko came out, I knew I had to have him. I have some very fond memories of the geckos when I lived in Hawaii. And he just looks really cute. I think I might get the little pink caterpillar to go opposite him since they both kind of swirl around the bracelet. But let's go ahead, not get ahead of ourselves, open this guy up and see what he looks like because I still haven't even opened the box. Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another charm video. So today I have an interesting video for y'all, an unboxing from a new company, at least new to me, um, called Gona. So this is a French-based company. They are in Paris. They reached out to me and asked if they could send me a bracelet and some charms to unbox and share with y'all. And I said, sure. Um, so I was able to go on their site and pick out whatever bracelet and charms I wanted. I picked out a few from their marine collection because as y'all know, your girl loves the ocean and cruising and some of the little animals, like the little whale and the little octopus looked really, really sweet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open this bag up. This is exactly how it came. I pulled it right out of the cardboard box and um, get into it. I'm not quite sure what it's all gonna look like or how it's going to compare to some of my other bracelets, but I'm very excited to find out because I'm always down for a new charm company. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so let's get right into this bag. It has very nice like ribbon handles and a little tie. I did get a little damaged in shipping, which is unfortunate because you know your girl's a packaging hoarder and the like even the material is ridiculously thick and luxurious so I'll probably still keep it <laughs> can't ever throw a good bag away fairly sure that is like some kind of weird rule all right so two boxes Ooh, they've got loose things in them so let's open the little box first. They sent me a bracelet and a necklace, so I'm going to assume that the necklace is in this one. Oh yeah. So, oh, that has a little charm on it. So I was able to pick everything out. I did not pick this charm out. I did pick the chain out. So that's nice. It's a nice little addition. Take it out of here and see what it looks like. I've never worn a charm on a chain as a necklace like this, but it's very pretty. And while it's silver, you know me, I'm typically a silver or a rose gold girl. Um, the bracelet they sent is gold, so it'll be interesting to see if I would wear these together or not. It's very pretty. It's a delicate chain, but it uh, seems pretty sturdy. Very nice. All right. Next up. Got to be the bracelet, right? And I think from the rattling that all the charms are going to be loose, so... Here's the bracelet. So you can see it's gold. And while it is a snake chain, it's a different kind of snake chain. It seems long and smooth. I bet that'll feel nice on. But this is why I picked it. Look at that seashell clasp. You know me, I love a good clasp, anything with interesting detailing. And I love this kind of like damask uh, scallop swirl on the threads. That's really pretty. The other thing I really liked about most of their charms is that they were very heavy um, CZ'd and I like sparkle. Let's see how this clasp feels. 
Oh, it works pretty easily. That's nice. So I got the 7.7. .7. I typically wear a 7.9, so hopefully it will fit nicely with all the charms on it. But we'll have to put the charms on it to find out. I typically wear my bracelets big because I like to fill them up with charms. So a little smaller of a bracelet isn't a huge deal. All right, so I grabbed a charm bar. Let's start to look at the actual charms. So first up is this turtle. I like the heart on the shell and I like that blue enamel, but you see what I mean about the CZs? Like the guy is stacked. Oh, he's got detail on the bottom. That's nice. There's his little hallmarks. Gona S180. So he is a later, lighter weight silver, which is fairly common with a lot of charm brands. Oh, I like the anchor. I like the CZs. This guy has the open work details of the stars. That's nice. I'm guessing this is the front because we've got that little CZs on the front of the anchor and the more intricate middle. Ooh, this is the cruise ship. So you know, you guys knew I had to get the cruise ship. He is a chunky boy. I like the details on the windows though. He's very smooth. I like that all the blue enamel like matches. These charms definitely are a series. They go together. Ooh, the octopus. I wasn't sure about this guy online. I thought he might be a little too ornate, even for me, or not like fit in with the rest of the collection since he didn't have any enamel. But I actually really like him. He's super cute. Gives me... Ursula vibes. Okay, that's the safety chain. We'll do that last. Okay, the whale. So this is the whole reason I asked for the marine collection is this whale. Look at him. That is stunning. I don't even like gold, but this whale right here convinced me that uh, I could do gold for this guy. You guys know that mom and I went whale watching last summer. I will link to that cruise video down below from that excursion. It was so much fun. Um, and next month, dad and I are going to Alaska where hopefully we will see more whales. So I will be able to wear this little guy when we go whale watching. That'll be fun. And then a seahorse. I wasn't sure about this guy with the green, but I just love seahorses and I loved the enamel. So figured, you know, little green never hurt anybody. Ooh, I like that. Instead of just a flat back, they have like a whole intricate cutout. That's nice. Didn't realize that from the website. And then last but not least, I got this little anchor charm. They had a few other like round beaded charms that I kind of wanted, but the dangles were just too dangly. <laughs> had to have the dangles. Uh, all right, the last, actual last piece, these are all the charms I got. R is, not R, the safety chain. I love a safety chain with details, and this one has beautiful details. Look at that. They're like charms themselves, even though they're a safety chain. They are huge. Like These charms are definitely much bigger than the ones I'm used to, but they're very pretty. So I am going to put these all on the bracelet, give you all a final look, and uh, and there we go. I definitely like them. They're very pretty. They're much lighter weight than I'm used to, which is not necessarily a deal breaker, but it does make me a little more concerned about the, the junctures where the dangles all attach that I could get them caught on something and have them come off. Um, they seem very well made though, so hopefully that will not be an issue. 
I will be doing a comparison kind of review. I've got, of course, a few other brands, so I'll be laying them out side by side and we'll see how they stack up. But for now, let's just take a final look at them on the bracelet. All right, there we go. I really like it. I will have to wear it on my upcoming cruise and let y'all know how it holds up. But initial uh, review, I wish a few more of these dangles had this beautiful whale bale, like the actual tops, just how that's hanging on the bracelet. But you know, that's very pretty. I really like how it looks and I don't even mind the gold that much. So I hope you guys liked this little review. Um, let me know if you've had any charms or bracelets from this Gona brand and what your reaction is. And if you'd like to see more reviews from other brands like this, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.